Hi, my name is Mark Hefner. I'm with the Johnstone Supply Training Center. Uh, today we're going to do a short and sweet video on capacitors, how to test them, and how to work with them a little bit. All right, so when we talk about capacitors, the first thing you have to understand is the, the microfarad rating is listed on the capacitor. In this case, this is a 7.5 MFD or microfarads capacitor. You'll notice next to it, there's a spot that has a plus and a minus sign next to a percentage. In this case, it's 5%. On some capacitors, you'll see 10%. This is the allowance that the capacitor will have to still be a good capacitor. So it should be plus or minus 5% of 7.5 to be a good capacitor. So in this case, I'll do my reading here. I'm gonna read 7.41. This is a good capacitor. Minus 5% would leave me at about 7.1. This is with intolerance. This capacitor will still work normally. Uh, something you might not know about capacitors that you can wire them different different ways to get different microfarad readings. These are two capacitors wired in series. Again, they're both 7.5. I've wired them one after another. When you do this, something interesting happens to them. I get 3.7 microfarads. I've cut my microfarad reading in half on these. Not particularly useful in the field. What is a little more useful, however, is I took these two 7.5 capacitors and I wired them in parallel. One wire matching each spot on that other's terminal. When you do this, you'll be able to double the rating of your capacitor. So now I'll go from a 7.5 to a 14.8 capacitor. Essentially what this means is that if I forgot a 15 microfarad capacitor on my truck and I needed a 15 to wire in a blower motor perhaps, I could put two seven and a halfs together to get that motor to run. Not the ideal situation, but it's better than having to go back to the shop. Where does this leave us with everything? Ideally, if you're doing a replacement, you're putting a new capacitor on a new motor. And if it's something like the rescue motor, you're gonna have a really simple time because the rescue motors, as mentioned in their, as shown in the wire diagrams, will show you that you take the brown wire, the brown and white wire, you attach them to a good capacitor, one on each terminal, and after you do that, you get the rest of your wires lined up to power on the system and you'll be good to go. Hopefully that was a fast enough video for you. And now you should know a little bit more about capacitors and how to test them. For this and any other training needs, come check us out at the Johnstone Supply Training Center, where we give you real world experience for your real world career.